The idea of fusing contemporary African dance with India's classic Kathak may have seemed quite outlandish when choreographer Leanne Lutz first discussed this with her fellow performers, but that didn't discourage them. The Flatfoot Dance Company is the product of their shared passion and Sadhana is the latest in a series of highly innovative productions. Sadhana was presented by the same team that created the dance work Bhakti and Tevin had high expectations. We're at the Playhouse in Durban about to catch a production called Sadhana. So join me as we catch Manesh and the Flatfoot Dance Company as they bring together South African cultures in a truly magnificent fusion experience. Kathak is more than just an art form for Manesh Maharaj and his life is dedicated to the pursuit of perfection in dance. Manish, welcome back to Mela. It's great to have you back on the show. Yes, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be back. What's been happening in the life of Manish since you were last on? I have been busy working with myself as a solo Kathak dancer. I was very happy to receive a call from Leanne Lutz, the artistic director of the Flatford Dance Company, saying that she has something very interesting in mind, and that is sadhana, and that's why we're here. What is sadhana? Sadhana is a Sanskrit term which loosely translates into one's personal journey towards self-realization and enlightenment. We use a very popular poem from Sant Tulsidas, who was a great sage, you know, as a, as a source of reference, where he gives the outside uh, clothing, uh, or the aharya as we call it in dance, for a dancer, he gives them negative vices, uh, such as lust, greed, uh, anger, you know, all of these things that we need to shed. So as the, the work progresses, uh, the dancers shed these clothes, uh, all in the quest for enlightenment. Now I see your colleagues warming up on the stage. Tell me, what's it been like working with the Flatfoot Dance Company? Everyone should share a common passion for dance, commitment and devotion to the work. And once you have that, then putting a work like Sadhana together is not a difficult task. Yes, there's a lot of intense dancing involved, but that's not work to, to us, it's passion. What is your role within the performance tonight? Give us a bit of an idea of your character. My role within Sadhana is that of a spiritual guide. Through his process of guiding his disciples, he is faced with the task of actually addressing his own journey as a guru. And then slowly as the disciples enter this realm, the other musical instruments creep into it in the most beautiful way. Music is a universal language and all you need is a natural empathy for life to be able to appreciate uh, music regardless of its genre. The dancers performed to music composed for the production and played by Madala Kunene and Madla Macha with Ravesh Duki on tablas. Rivash, what's up? How are you? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Welcome to Mela. I just have to say that's music to my ears. Um, what are your thoughts on playing the tabla for this dance production? Well, I actually took it as a good opportunity. I found it very interesting to work with various artists from a jazz background, classical guitar, a djembe drum player. And not only that, we had several other dancers from various dance groups. From what I've seen, you've, you've developed quite a skilled a uh, set of fingers there. Do you mind if I uh, yes, join please. you a little bit? We can compare some South African and Indian tabla players. Please do. Uh, what are the first things you guys learned as tabla players in India? Normally you learn your basic notation mm. and before your basic notation you'd learn the basic finger positions. Because obviously without the basic technique you cannot produce the proper yes, sounds. Yes, true, definitely. I remember when we learned, the first thing we learned was tahti tom nam, so the basic note. Or you can play. Meanwhile, on stage, the company's artistic director and choreographer, Leanne Lutz, was watching her dancers prepare for the performance. Yeah. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I see the warming up. They're doing, yeah, they, this is the warm up. They do the warm up before the show, obviously, to get the bodies ready for mm. the performance. Would this be a great moment for us to chat quickly? Yeah, okay. sure, absolutely. Okay. So 
So Leanne, are you excited if the show is about to start? It's been a long journey to get to the work. We've been working for about five and a half, six weeks on the work. What can audiences expect from Sadhana? What happens is a group of travellers arrive on stage and um, in this landscape and they meet a guide or a guru and the, these, these dancers or these people that maybe we identify with go on this journey either willingly or unwillingly and really the piece is really about shedding. It's about getting rid of those things that bind and hold us and in the middle of all of this is this incredible meeting of people in a way that is not obvious, I hope, but also just a kind of way in which we're all striving for that inner sense of self, finding who we are and what we are as South Africans. This mixing of Indian and African culture coming alive on the stage, how do you feel when you see this? There's a strange sense of divisions. It's almost like as human beings, if we can divide something, we will. So for me, it's that kind of impulse, not just to find necessarily harmonious meetings, but to actually explore those cultural collisions and to say, at the end of the day, we're all of us seeking a desire to find out who we are. And whatever that journey is, it's, for me, it's a kind of spiritual journey. It's an, an inward journey. By now, Durban dance lovers were arriving for what had been built as a cross-cultural delve into the confluence of African and Indian dance and music. The world is holy, the soul is holy, the skin is holy, the nose is holy, the tongue and hand are holy, everything is holy, everybody's holy, everywhere is holy, every day is in eternity, every man's an angel. The bum is as holy as the seraphim, the madman is as holy as you, my soul are holy. Sadhana certainly struck a chord with the audience. It doesn't mean the difference of the color doesn't separate us as long as we're united through music and art. So the production interpreted that well for me. So I enjoyed the production very well. I wish I was part of the production, but yeah, I enjoyed every moment. I didn't even look at the paper that they, I was given but because of how catching it was. I loved the fact that they had the live band that was playing throughout and yeah, really liked it. 